leaf. The green, flat, expanded exogenous lateral appendages developed from the nodes of the stem or branches are called leaves. They have limited growth and are arranged acropitally. In the axils of the leaves, axillary buds are present. Functions of leaves They carry out photosynthesis. They control the diffusion of oxygen and carbon dioxide. They promote internal transportation of water and minerals by transpiration. Coline leaves Leaves develop on the stem. Example, cocos. Ramel leaves Leaves develop on the branches. Radical leaves Leaves develop on the roots. Example, allium Parts of a leaf The structure of the leaf shows four parts, namely 1. Leaf base 2. Stipule 3. Petiole and 4. Lamina Leaf base The basal part of the leaf is called leaf base. The leaves are attached to the stem at the node by means of leaf base. Stipule The small green lateral appendages present on either side of the leaf base are called stipules. They are prominent in dicots and rarely found in monocots. They protect the axillary buds in developing stages. Stipulate Leaves with stipules Extipulate Leaves without stipules Deciduous stipule Stipules fall off by the time lamina expands. Example, mycalia. Persistent stipule. Stipules remain as long as the leaf remains. Example, pisum, lathyrus. Branched stipules. In Ipomia quamaclet, branched stipules are present. Petiole. The stalk of the leaf is called petiole. It connects the lamina to the stem. It exposes the lamina to light. It allows the leaf lamina to flutter in wind, thereby cooling the leaf and bringing fresh air to surface. It bears the weight of the lamina and conducts water and food materials between the stem and leaf. Petulate Leaves with petiole. Cecil. Leaves without petiole. Lamina. The green expanded part of the leaf is called lamina or the leaf blade. All the important functions of the leaf are performed in this part only. The central prominent vein present in the leaf lamina is called midvein or midrib. The branches developed from the midvein are called lateral veinlets.